I want to ask you something, man. What is it that took you away from Allah? What is it that made you forget about your Allah? I want to ask you something. Has Allah ever let you down once? Has Allah ever let you down once? In Quran, Quran, Allah Azza wa Jal speaks out. And He says, Oh human being, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking, Oh human being, what is it that took you away from me? What is it that distracted you away from your Allah? Allah says, O oh my slave, Quran, did there not come a time where you did not exist? He says, Lam yakun shay'an mafkura. You won't even remember. Your name wasn't mentioned. There was a point in time, my brother, you didn't even exist. Allah says, I created you. Me alone. I created you from a piece of sperm. People walking around today, you know, looking down at others. He thinks he's something. Allah, he thinks he's something. Brother, did you forget where you came from? Allah created you from a piece of sperm. So don't be fooled now, you know, because mashallah, now you got some money in your pocket. Or maybe now, you know, you drive a nice pretty car. Allah says, I created you from a piece of sperm. Your beginning was a nutfah. Your beginning was a nutfah. Yes, my brother, for those of you who have pride and arrogance in their hearts, for those of you who think that Allah owes them something, for those of you who feel like I don't have time for Allah, my brother, there was a point in time you were nothing. Then from nothing, you were a piece of sperm. Forgive me for the language, but if I can't speak the truth, then what am I here for? What, to entertain you? You were a piece of sperm. If you were on the floor, I challenge anyone in this room if they would have picked you up. You were that, whether you like it or not. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he says, amazing, 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 amazing. How can the one who traveled through the passage of urine twice. You traveled through the passage of urine, not once, twice. He says, how can this person still have pride in his heart? Allah says, I created you from a piece of sperm in three layers of darkness in the womb, in the stomach of your mother. I created you. I fashioned you. I sustained you. Where was your family then? Where was your money then? Where was your car then? Where, where were your girlfriends then? Where was your Facebook then? When I created you, you were nothing. Where were these things that have taken you away from me? These things that have taken you away from me, where were they then? For nine months in the womb of your mother, I sustained you. With no money, with no factory, with no science, with no companies, with nothing. I sustained you for nine months. For nine months in the womb of your mother. Who taught you to swim in water? Who? What school? Who taught you to swim in water for nine months? Allah. And then after nine months. For you, Allah made the impossible possible. Allah made the impossible possible for you to come into this world. I mean, you tell me, how does something like this come out of a womb like this? Yet Allah made it possible so you can come into this world. You came naked, barefooted, uncircumcised. 
You had hands, but you couldn't grab. You had legs, but you couldn't walk. You had a mouth, but you couldn't eat. Who looked after you then, man? Who sustained you then? In the breast of your mother, let till this day, with all their science and all their knowledge and all their know-how and all their resources and all their ability and money to produce a formula that is half as good as the milk that Allah put in the breast of your mother, they still can't produce. Yet Allah put that in the breast of your mother. For who? Who paid for that? Who asked for it? In summer, he made it cool. In winter, he made it warm for you. Who did that for you? Man? Who watched over you every night? Who put the mercy and the love in the heart of a human being to be there for your every need? You had legs that couldn't walk, Allah allowed you to walk. You had hands that couldn't grab, Allah allowed you to grab. You had a mouth you couldn't eat, Allah allowed teeth to grow. Allah taught you. Allah taught you. Let every beat of your heart, every beat of your heart, your heart seeks permission from Allah. Did Allah ever say no once to it? Something like a hundred thousand beats a day. Did Allah ever say no once? Every breath you take, your lungs seek permission. Did Allah ever say no once? Even when you were doing haram, even when you were committing zina, even when you were displeasing Him, even when you were sinning, even when you were doing wrong, Towards your own self, harming your own self, doing that which clearly Allah doesn't like, clearly which Allah made haram. Even then, even then when you were doing haram, your heart still had to seek permission from Allah and Allah still granted it. Today, brothers don't talk to brothers because of one mistake. Men are divorcing women because of trivial things. Did Allah ever say no once? And now my brother, because you can walk on your own and you can talk on your own and you can grab on your own and you can make a little sandwich for yourself, you don't have time for Allah. You're busy. I don't need this. Is this how we thank Allah? You give me a plate of food. I come to you and I'm hungry. I come to you and I'm hungry. And I tell you, please, brother, there's no one here to feed me. So you give me a plate of warm food to eat. I eat your food and I say thank you by spitting in the plate. Wallahi, my brothers, we need Allah. Allah doesn't need us. Wallahi, my brothers, if we knew how much Allah loves us and how much Allah values us, If you knew how much Allah loved you, isn't it enough, honestly, isn't it enough that Allah says, Oh my slave, if your sins reached the heavens, your sins, they reach the heavens, but you don't associate partners with me in ibadah, and you ask me for my forgiveness, I will come to you with mercy and forgiveness that match your sins. <coughs> you 
He says, O oh, my slaves, those who have transgressed against themselves, don't you ever, don't you ever, ever give up in the hope and in the mercy of your Lord. My slave, if you were to ignore me, neglect me, sin, never pray, become the worst person, the worst, the filthiest person, the biggest criminal, not for 10 years, not for 20 years, not for 30 years, not for 40 or 50 or 60, you could be the worst of the worst, the filth of the filth. And once, only once, in your life, something enters your heart and you say to Allah, Ya Rabb. Allah says, Naam Ya Abdi, what do you want? You say, Oh Allah, forgive me. Allah says, I've forgiven your sins. My slave, if you come to me, this Allah that doesn't need anyone, clean me. This Allah that doesn't need anyone says, Oh my slaves, in the authentic hadith al Qudsi, authentic hadith says, Oh my slaves, if you come to me a handspan, I come to you an arm's length. My slave, if you come to me walking, I come to you running. Oh my slave, when you remember me, I remember you. My slave, when you forget me, I still remember you. Wallahi, my brothers, we have so much shortcomings to Allah. And this isn't about us and them and the ummah and what's... No, no, no. I'm talking he, you and I right now. This Allah that's given us so much. So much. What have we done in return, my brothers? 